you really don't have to keep calling me creator. Hmm. How about father? Uh, that's uh, not much better. <laughs> Master? Uh. Nope. <laughs> no. Daddy? Nope. Uh -uh. Absolutely not. Welcome back to the cafe, everyone. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy some more cassette beasts. We getting ready to go and fight a warrior, I guess. Um, we are trying to find the cassette beast that has a stance of a warrior, has perfect warrior pose vibes. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to get up there, though. Because there's a whole section up there that I think is where I'm supposed to be. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to kick it off with the battle. Looks like a double battle, too. Whew. This place is pretty beautiful, huh? Socrates! Oh my gosh. Once again, surprised at the folks who end up here in New World. The perfect human being is all human beings put together. It is a collective. It is all of us together that make perfection. Yeah. Plato, I exhort you to also take part in the great combat, which is the combat of life and greater than any other earthly conflict. All right. Okay. We're fighting Socrates and Plato. No big deal. Um, Southpaw and Galagor. Okay. Well, nothing like the present to, to get into a fisticuffs with the greatest two great philosophers of our time. Um, I will say not what I expected to be doing today. Okay. So let's, let's just do smack. I'm going to just raise up a few points. Oh, <gasps> enemy Gallagher and Southpaw's heart accent. They're fusing. This has not happened before. Gallopaw, oh my gosh. Okay, well this battle just got way more serious. Oh my gosh. Okay, this definitely took a turn that I did not think it would. Um, I do like the song. Very cool. Uh, but <laughs> I did not anticipate. I don't think this has happened before. I wish I had Meredith because I could fuse and and fight sort of on that level at least. Um, let's try shooting star and pustule bomb. I don't remember what that other element is. It's like there's metal and something else. Astral. Oh my gosh, it's the same as my ram. It's astral. So that's probably not what I want to do. Oh gosh, okay. Let's actually switch our ram out. We know that Astral uh, enjoys elements like earth, fire, uh, water. And so let's go with plastic. I think that will be quite useful. And let's do Sonic Boom. I also appreciate that my little Trafficone crab thing. Oh! Oh my gosh! Um, I appreciate that it has high defense. Okay, they have mind meld. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my gosh, I did not, I did not expect to get my butt kicked in this way. Oh. Okay, let's do. I know. Let's do water coating and then bring. Oh, we don't have telekitty. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, let's try inflamed. Will that do anything? I'm not sure. Uh, let's also do inflame here. I'm really hoping it does something. So the metal part of Galapa. Okay, it gave an AP boost, which is not good. Yeah, regrets, regrets. I'm really just buffing this thing. Oh God. Um. Okay, let's just try switching it up again. Um, let's go back to Lobstacle. Ooh, battery is a tough one, but actually it's not doing too badly. Because plastic uh, does okay against electricity. Okay. Let's do Copper Chop and we'll do Shield Bash. 
Okay, so we should be able to now get the fusion separated. There's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Oh! Oh, that's it! Okay, so it's a little different than when we fight fusions in the wild. Uh, once you defeat a fusion, they're done. Uh, at least when it's a human Thank battle. You. I thought I could beat you. Now I am truly wise because I know that I know nothing. Oh. We are philosophers, Socrates, not fighters. Hardly any human being is capable of pursuing two professions or two arts rightly. My god, don't at me. I am constantly the person trying to pursue more than one. It's a pretty old church. I want to sketch it. Um, but yeah, mm. I am constantly trying to pursue more than one thing, and I understand the the ways that it makes me weak, but I also understand the ways that it makes me pretty formidable, too. Okay, that's it. Okay, you fight it and I'll sketch. Well, here's the thing. Oh god. Oh, I'm not ready. I was gonna heal. Dang it. Okay, well this is unconventional. We have never had a battle like this. Um, <laughs> where we just have to wait for sketches to happen. Oh god. That's a... That is a beautiful, beautiful cassette piece, though. Um, kitty kuri. All right, well, let's fight. Okay, defense is up, that's all right. How long will it take you to sketch this, my friend? Um, do we have a bar that's gonna go up? Do I have to defeat it? I, I just hope I don't have to keep it totally alive for a certain amount of time. I think that's what I'm most apprehensive about. Ooh. Okay. Mmm, desperation is getting more powerful. I wonder if that's just uh, the nature of that attack. I may have to look that up. Victory. That wasn't too bad. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, God. Mysterious cat girl. <laughs> Stop, fiend. Yeah. Uh, and don't come back. Huh? You were... Wait. Wait. Are you... Yeah. <gasps> Is that the captain for this area? Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope. No. I... I think my path's coming back to haunt me. Well, let's go back to my place. Everything will become clear, I promise. Are we dealing with like an mm. X situation? It has to be in here somewhere. I. Or did you draw a cat girl and it came to life? Here's my old sketchbook from when I was 12 years old. It was in my apartment with me when I landed here, so I still have it. Look on this page. Mm. <gasps> Her name is Kuneko. She was a character I made up as a kid. Uh... <laughs> is she a ninja? Does she, how come she has cat ears? Does she have angel wings? I see an angel and a demon wing, but I want to get more clarity on that, so let's ask that uh... question. She's like the daughter of an angel and a demon who was lost on Earth and adopted by a magical ninja clan. When she became 21, she left her home on an epic quest to battle at four elemental altars and prove her worth. It's the greatest warrior in the land. We've been passing by altars. I wonder if those are part of it. Um, she sounds cool. <laughs> I was going through an anime phase in middle school. Don't judge me. Felix, I haven't left my anime phase. You're okay. <laughs> I am fully aware of how absurd this whole situation is. Oh, you have no idea how my low quality child or I have no idea how my low quality childhood drawing has become real. But if Koneko really is here in this world, I need to find her. I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay, well, it looks like, oh, well, oh, there we go. We got to the bottom of it. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> you saved me earlier. Do you know me? Well, I, I have never met you, but I feel a strong connection to you. Hmm. Yeah, that figures. I mean, I did create you. I... Sorry! Uh, please forgive me! I am so sorry for not recognizing you, creator! Some time ago, I woke up in the meadow where, where we first met, with nothing but my name on my lips and my quest in my heart. I have no other memories, creator! 
Uh, you really don't have to keep calling me creator. Hmm. How about father? Uh, that's uh, not much better. <laughs> Master? Uh. Nope. <laughs> no. Daddy? Nope. Uh -uh. Absolutely not. Just call me Felix. Uh, Kuneko, you mentioned a quest. Yeah. I must find the four elemental shrines across this land and defeat the beasts that guard them. Only then will I prove my strength. Hmm. Man, I really couldn't have come up with a better storyline, could I? Kaneko, you probably shouldn't go on this quest. It's not real. I made it up for your backstory. Not to mention the creatures in New World are pretty dangerous. Uh, I know you don't think I have what it takes, creator. Which is why I have no choice but to prove myself. Oh god. Uh, this is all really weird. It's not just me, right? Uh, about as weird as everything else on this island. Uh, I've created much less embarrassing char characters since I was a kid. Why her? Either way, if she's only here because I invented her, I guess I feel somewhat responsible for her. We should find those four elemental altars and make sure she's not putting herself in harm's way. All right, we've got a quest. Find the four elemental altars to track down Kuneko. Well, my goodness. I have so many quests. Uh, let's see. Let's go into the quest log just to see. Now, it is on a main quest situation, so we know it's pretty dang important. Um, we have Cherry Meadow over here. There's one thing that was on my mind last time, and that was the signs that we saw in the Middle Lake area. Um... And I know we passed by an altar in the lake, so let's do kind of hit a double whammy where we maybe investigate these signs, try and solve that puzzle. It seems like it's pretty, I don't know. Again, I feel like maybe, maybe it won't be as significant because um, we got the note that <laughs> maybe it's going to just be uh, put us into circles, but I don't know, it feels it feels like it's important somehow. Shoot, should I have healed? I should have healed. But we've got, as we rest in the cafe, a little story. Maybe there's some good lessons to be learned from life in Harbor Town. I mean, there's not exactly a bustling nightlife, but the whole town relies on each other and no one's really left behind. There's enough food to go around, but not so much that anything goes to waste. It's cut off from human civilization, but still manages to get by. It's pretty impressive when you think about it. I don't know. We've established, ooh, hey, side quests. We've established a lot of really good things here in New Wero. What I think is curious, now I see all the side quest indicators, but I'm going to ignore them for now, simply because I would like to feel like I've made a headway on my side quests in general. And uh, it's nice having the list be short, but we'll be adding to it, don't worry. We'll have to do a, a day of side quest of recollecting. Okay, so this was the first one I saw. And the arrow goes down. Now, initially, I feel like I thought the arrow went down just a point downwards, but what if we had to go straight? And it was pointing us to this. Aha. Okay. I think we're I think we're figuring it out. This is going to take a long time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have to go through all of these. Will it be this one? Yes. Oh, maybe the treasure chest will come up in the middle of these. I wonder what it's going to be. No. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, jeez. Oh, <gasps> not a treasure chest. An archangel. Okay, well, and a traffic crab got in our way here. Oh, a lobstacle, just kidding, and a dandelion. All right, well, let's take them out first. Now, I just realized we should probably either snag Meredith because we have a super powerful fusion that's available, or, ooh, powerful. 
Um, or at the very least, get Felix uh, some more powerful moves there on, on his cassette beast. Yeah. Felix, right now, currently, the shroom is so cute, but I'm not a huge, huge fan of how it plays, just with my personal style. Just to expedite things, I think I'm going to switch over to Spitzfire because Dandelion is a plant type. Uh, so I think that'll just make things go a little bit more speedy. All right, there we are. Okay, so what's nice is we know that when we unlock this, we'll unlock a subway station. Uh, that means we'll have quick travel. Mm. Oh, or not. These uh, train station give me the creeps. I feel like we're not meant to be here. Also, I think, is this the first time we've had... Puzzles and also, uh, uh, what to call it, uh, cassette beast in here. Welcome. I've taken the liberty of opening platform A for your travel. Now, what can I do for you, Kimchika? The guest arriving at platform B has many sharp edges. My advice would be to keep your distance. Now, what can I do for you? Um, the Merline? That's right. The Merline. Okay. The Merlin does not speak to mortals. They have chosen to act as the go-between to interface with you. All right, anything else new? Indentured servant. Um, like you, I'm not native to New World, but there have been many who know me. Okay, so we have this Merlin who is this being that apparently controls all the things here. So let's travel back to Gramophone Cafe, heal up, and we're gonna be trying this Archangel battle. A sharp, sharp uh sharp opponent so i don't know what that means um metal mm. <laughs> you want to hear something kind of weird i used to have a scar on my upper right arm here i fell into a chain fence as a kid and cut my arm real bad it's not there anymore ever since i arrived here in new world i i don't know what that means i just thought it was interesting will it come back if i get to go back home makes me wonder I'm curious as well, because what if, what if we are all not alive somehow, but we are in a third place, some sort of limbo space, um, reborn again in this sort of in-between world. Now, I think just for the sake of ease, I'm going to bring Meredith because I know we have a level three fusion um, and I really, really want to, to take advantage of that. The extra power there. Here we go, water loop station. Now, do I need to, there's water down here. What's it coming from? That's a great question. Ooh, whoa. What happens if we go down this way? Whoa! Okay. Oh dang. What does happen if we continue to go through here? We need a key. Only one locker tells the truth. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh, are we looping back around? Whoa. What's this door? Oh, hello. So we have maybe the answer to the puzzle here. So we make a little Tetris piece, a Tetrino. All right. Oh. Oh, hello. I did not mean to... I was doing something totally different, and at least that got one treasure chest open. So I guess if I get it all red, that means, um... Perhaps I'll get the next... What is that, a dodecahedron? No. Yes? Gosh, what shape is that? If y'all know, let, let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh, wait. I think, is this it? Oh! <gasps> Yes! Oh, dang it. Well, that didn't do what I thought it would. Hmm. Okay, well, that lowered... Oh, will that allow the rest of the water to go down, perhaps? 
All right, well, let's make this all red just to see if that changes anything. Oh my gosh, this has taken me so long. There's probably a methodical way I could have really done it, but I ended up losing patience like part of the way through and just starting to spam the buttons uh, and just the statues. So I'm, I'm happy. Oh, wait. Is that what we wanted? Yeah, I thought. Maybe. I don't know. Um. Oh, this one is still there. And there's nothing there, so let's go through this and not do the switch yet. See if that changes anything. Oh my gosh. Yep, it did. <laughs> it did change a thing. We have three chests. Okay, and maybe one of them will have the key. Right? And there was, what did it say? It, there was a sign that said something. Just probably a hint to which chest. Only one locker. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember I was like, it had a riddle-ish kind of thing when we read it the first time. Only one locker tells the truth. Okay. A note on this locker says, the key is not in the leftmost box. Open it. No, let's read all the clues. Oh God, this is gonna, this is really using my brain. After having to do all of those, the puzzle work, which you fortunately have not had to see all of it cut out. It was, it was an embarrassing amount of time. Um, now my brain is needing to solve this. Okay. A note on this locker says the key is not in this box. Open it, no. Can't read it because Meredith's in the way. There we go. No, the says the key is in this box. Open it. No. Okay. So if one says the key is in this box, the second says the key is in the leftmost box, and the last one says what? This key is not in this box. Did they when they all lie? Only one tells the truth. Okay, so that means two of them are lying. And if two of them are pointing to this leftmost box, then that means this is the box with the key. I think. Oh god, yes? Ah, shoot. Dang it. <laughs> I picked the wrong one. Okay, so let's fight this and then we'll try again. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. Okay, we won. It was a pretty quick battle. Again, Meredith with the electric type. Um, there's a lot of water around here, so that's why also I think Meredith is going to be useful. Oh! I was right. Okay, so that's good that we had a battle. They were protecting the key. Okay, so then will this take down the next gate? Yes. So now... Gosh darn it. <laughs> this will go by fast, but it's... It's when it's because we've gotten to the point where I'm just like very excited to get to the next bit. Uh, so I'm just I'm ready. I'm ready to get to the Archangel. I want to see what it looks like um, with all of the what is it said that had a lot of sharp edges to it. We've had such interesting designs with all of the others, so. I'm just, I'm ready. <laughs> you can't see, but Rosie's sitting. Oh, you can kind of see Rosie's face. She's sitting in my lap right now. Um, I'm excited to see what the design is. I'm still unsure entirely of my theory behind all of the archangels. Again, I think I'm still leaning towards they illuminate maybe weaknesses of humankind. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I think we need to see a few more just to just to be safe. Oh, shucks, I can't. OK, so now I have to go all the way around again. And then and then we'll be able to do it. Now again. What is our what does our party look like? We're pretty well off. We're healed enough that I don't feel like we need to go in and 
maybe try try getting to the cafe and healing. So let's do it. Ugh, what's wrong with this place? It feels like there's something pushing against me. It's like there's television static in my brain. Yeah, it looks like that from from my my point of view too. Incoming train to platform B. I'm so excited. What? It, it's another archangel. Also, literally sh sharp edges because it is. <laughs> it's <laughs> what? I'm just like, what is this? Looks like a screensaver. Uh, again, it looks like something I'm not supposed to see. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Third dimensional space is imperfect. Science and mathematics remain true. All things have four sides. Um, I'd say this thing hasn't got its head screwed on right, but it seems to lack a head altogether. No, I see inconsistency within you. You are imperfect beings. Let me write all your wrong angles. Oh, still have time for a good pun. Okay, here we go. Angel Hecahedron, Neoplatonic Solid. Well, Hecahedron, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna fuse. Our hearts will act as one. Ram five. We're here and we're ready. Let's use battering ram and lower that accuracy. <laughs> oh. Sharpen melee attack up. I'm really hoping the accuracy thing works on our favor. Mm. Splash damage heals 3% of max HP per empty slot. Okay, let's do that. I think the other one was a little bit more powerful, but this one heals us, which is helpful. Whoa, the eye in the center. <gasps> Whoa. So let's do the bite again, simply because it also heals us. What? That didn't do anything. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, let's do bite then. Oh wait, no, shoot, I didn't mean, I, oh, balls. Okay, my accuracy is down quite a bit. Ugh. Sharp edges. Uh oh. Uh oh is right. Um, can we do smack? Oh, that did nothing. Oh god, okay. Ooh, landing a glitter type attack covers the target with a layer of glitter, causing them to become glitter type themselves. <laughs> oh snap! Will glitter type be good against the hecahedron? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. This is this is way tougher than I thought it would be. Missed. How are we supposed to hit when we are missing everything? Oh, we should have we should have gotten that one cassette beast where it will never like it, what is it? The next attack will never miss. We should have done that. Ugh. Okay. Well, I, I think... I, what am I supposed to do if I keep missing? Oh, dear. Roll 10. That's not good. That sounds very, very damaging. Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't want to waste this fusion. Unfuse? Ugh, no. Okay, let's try the fusion power. Will it work? Okay, it did. Sleep. Damage roll. Failed. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's just smack. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. We are gonna rewind. We are gonna heal. I think if I can just save up to another um, fusion attack, that probably will be the best bet. 
because uh, I think hitting in any other form isn't isn't doing anything. Oh, wait, no, now it is. Oh my gosh, now it is. Okay, so now we're ice. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, um, let's do fusion power. That's gonna do, what, 200-ish damage? Yep, okay, so we just have to survive for one more. We're gonna do another smack. Sleep talk, please don't. You have like a one in a million chance of success and I really hope it doesn't work. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep smacking only because I wanna save up for that fusion power just in case we need it. Okay, fail, 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 fail. Yes. The fact that it's sleeping so much is really helpful. Ooh, yes. All right, we should be able to do it on this hit. There we go. Oh my gosh, getting to this point took so much. Your stamina increased, you can glide for five seconds. Hallelujah. It's kind of a fitting thing to say with archangels around. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand, you must walk the path most long. To the east your wings must fly, to the place only I have known. For that is where my chambers lie, halls empty and alone. Venture there and head northbound, where your wayward paths shall meet. Where auburn trees spring from the ground, their dead leaves crisp under your feet. Okay. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out, so now we have to go and find... in the fall area. Are my angles imperfect also? The calculations were correct. I have failed in three sim simultaneous dimensions. Hey, and triangle person is there too. Look at him. What good timing. I was just thinking how I needed to recruit someone who's good with numbers. How'd you like a job, my new cuboid friend? I don't like this. You and I, we should have a proper talk sometime. Is today not that day? <laughs> I've got time, buddy. Stick around. Ah, uh, I guess that was another addition to my list of weird things on this island that tried to kill me. Great stuff, mate. Um, that triangle man says he wants to have a proper talk with you. He's weirdly civil for a creepy floating guy. Did you say something earlier about a cryptic clue you're investigating? Hit me with it. Where auburn trees spring from the ground, their dead leaves crisp under your feet. That sounds like it's describing an area to me. Are you wanting to go there or something? No, I guess we'd better get back to adventuring. Didn't you hear some rumors about something happening in Cherry Meadow? That might be a good place to check out. Okay, the old ruin. All right. We have only one side quest currently. One rumor to investigate. That's because we haven't asked all the villagers with question marks above their heads about the other side quests. So before we end out today, let's do a quick check. Side quest yeah. check. Oh, wait. Maybe we, maybe we achieved one that he was going to tell us. Someone else here had a question mark above their head. Oh, oh. Hey. Hello, Kimchika. Um. What? I was not prepared for this. Sorry. Is this too loud? Maybe this is a little easier for you. I thought we could pencil in a quick meeting. Uh. Is this the same bloke who keeps appearing in the stations? Who are you anyway? Ah, oh, where are my manners? I should introduce myself. Are you an archangel? Archangel? Is that what you call us? How delightful. As for me personally, I've been called many things by your kind. Arthur, Alexander, Agam Agamemnon. Alas, I am Aleph. Aleph, you can call me Al. You can be my buddy boy. I can be your long lost bow, 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 bow. Not the time. Uh... He's not what I expected. I've been preoccupied for some time by an old friend. Fortunately, that situation has been resolved now. 
and I return to find out this world has gathered more of my people? More archangels? <laughs> These are exciting times indeed, friends. The newcomers are wild and unfocused, but I see much potential in them. So I must ask that you don't attempt to intervene in my team building exercise. In fact, I must request that you cease searching for my peers entirely. But the Archangels are the key to leaving New Wirral. Oh. Ooh, you just want to leave? Yes, I can send you away from here. The only thing I can't warp is me. A mirror doesn't reflect itself. Ugh, do you trust this triangle bloke? So be it. I shall grant your wish. Please don't come back. What? Really? I mean it. What? Ooh, not what I wanted. What, 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 what? This is not what I wanted. Um, hello. I was just finishing up a battle with an archangel, and I thought we were going to end this episode all peaceful like, and holy crap. Where are we? What the heck? Okay. Uh, I cannot believe the cliffhanger we're ending this episode on. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you think is even happening. <laughs> I am so wonderfully just on the edge of my seat trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I would love to hear from you if you have theories. Uh, if you know exactly what's going on, don't tell me exactly quite yet. But I would love to hear what you think, um, what your hypotheses are. And um, if you are interested in hanging out in the cafe, please do follow me here on YouTube and on Twitch and on TikTok at Kimchika. And you can also find me on uh, Instagram at Jenny Wyndham. So that is it for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Go play Cassette Beast if you're at all intrigued by this and want to set up your own team and go through this adventure too. And I hope you find all the indie games to enjoy, and I'll see you next time in the cafe. Bye, y'all.